Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the integration by substitution. O yung mas kilala bilang U substitution. So, shoutout sa lahat ng mga bata or mga sadyante na nag-take ngayon ng integral calculus as their subject. And I hope na matuto kayo sa ating tutorial today. So, before I start doing this, um, ako, as a teacher, nung sadyante ako, uh, during undergrad, and nung ako yung nag na masters, hindi pa ako nakakuha ng flat, flat one sa differential and integral. Parang naglalaro lang siya sa 1.25 saka 1.5. So basically, average student ako when it comes to this kind of topic. So ang pinakakilang naman dito sa mga katulad kong hindi talaga ganun kagaling sa calculus, isa na lang dito, um, you need to practice those examples sa binigay ng inyong mga professor. And aside from that, maghanap din kayo ng mga possible examples online. Kasi um, hindi lang naman ano, hindi lang siya hindi lang siya uh, bounded sa mismo ano, sa mismo example sa binibigay ng mga professor niya. So for example, meron kang examination. And then syempre, 'di ba, yung mga questions sa examination, those are unexpected questions. So mo, much better na mag-explore din kayo ng different examples sa kahit anong topic ng integral calculus. So, yun lang, it's my circle. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. Sinare ko lang. So, basically guys, we have here integration by use substitution and we are we are given the direction find the indefinite integral of the following. So, so in of the following meaning I will be giving you um one or two examples today. So, we have here the integral of 2x times x squared plus 3 squared dx. So, as you can see, uh, pwede naman natin makuha yung, ano, yung mismong integral, yung integral na ito. Pero, since ang topic natin ay u substitution, we will be using this kind of method. So, ano ba yung pinaka-struggle muna ng mga bata or ng mga sadyante when it comes to u substitution? Number one struggle nila ay, Sir, alin sa mga function na yan ang pipili namin to represent by u, to be represented by letter u. So actually, uh, we can use different letters, pero ang standard kasi, letter u. So, in, kahit ako, nung nag-aaral ako nito, ang struggle ko dito, paano ko mahanap alin sa dalawang function na yun, yung kailangan ko i-represent by u. So basically, we have here 2x and x squared plus 3. So ako, there are two ways. There are two ways. Ako, may dalawa akong ginagamit dati. Una, ang basis ko, kapag yung isang function ay more complicated compared sa other function. Compare natin tong x squared plus 3. And then the, the other one is 2x. Para sa akin, much complicated si x squared plus 3. So ako, I will let you I will let you be equal to x squared plus 3. Ito yung gagamitin ko yun. Yun yung isa ko sa mga, isa sa mga basis ko. Another possible basis ko is that since alam kong u substitution to, magkakaroon ako ng isang step ahead of time. Wherein, I have two different functions, 2x and x squared plus 3. Iisipin ko, kapag ba kinuha ko kasi yung ano, kasi mag-derivative din tayo. Kapag kinuha ko yung derivative ng 2x, kung ito yung gagamitin ko bilang u, ang maging derivative ba nito ay yung x squared plus 3? Or another possible thing is that kapag ito ba yung ginamit kong u, yung x squared plus 3, kapag kinuha ko yung derivative niya, it will become 2x. So, ganun yung basis ko. Una, unang basis ko is that kung mas complicated yung function, yun yung ginagamit ko bilang u. Pangalawang basis ko, nakakaroon ako ng isang step ahead of time wherein kinukuha yung derivative ng dalawang function. So, ganun yung ano. Sa inyo, depende sa inyo kung ano yung mag-work sa inyo. So, dito, meron tayong, sa akin, uh, dito, I will be using x squared plus 3 as my u. Kasi pag kinuha yung derivative nito, it will become 2x. Kuha niyo po ba? So, next step natin is to get the derivative of u with respect to x. So, that will become du over dx. And the derivative of x squared plus 3 is equal to 2x. So, yung iba, dinadirekta nila, nilagay nila dito yung 
dx. Pero tayo, we will cross multiply. Mag cross multiply tayo. So you have du is equal to 2x dx. So meron tayo na yan. So as you can see, upon using u, I x squared plus 3 as your u. At nung kinuha natin derivative ng u with respect to x, it, it became du is equal to 2x plus x. Mapansin nyo, etong part na to, eto ah, itong part na to, x squared plus 3, eto na yung u. Eto na yung u mo. Tapos, mapansin mo rin, kapag tinakpan natin to, you have 2x and dx. Again, pag wala to, you have 2x and dx, which, we, which means, eto yung magiging du mo. So, proceed tayo ngayon sa ating integration by u substitution after natin gawin to. So, next step natin dito is that we have the integral of your u. Ang u mo is x squared plus 3. It will become u to the power of 2. At mapan, sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung du mo is equal to 2x and dx. Itong 2x and dx natin, kailangan natin siyang palitan bilang du. Okay? So, we have the integral of u squared du. Nagkaroon na tayo ng u substitution. Then right after this, proceed na tayo ngayon sa pagkukuha ng integral na to. By power rule, we can get the integral of this as u raised to 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. Nakasunod? Tandaan na, by power rule, we have u raised to 2 or in nag-add lang tayo ng 1 dito, tapos yung exponent plus 1, ilagay na sa denominator, it became u 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. And then simplifying this, this will become u raised to 3 over 3 plus c. And sa mga take ng integral calculus, tandaan nyo to, huwag nyo kakalimutan yung plus c. Share ko lang na during our exams last dati, sa undergrad, I forgot to put plus C at hindi ko nakuha yung maayos na score sa test na yan. So, important ito. So, ikaw, if you have something in mind, ano yung, ang tanong ko rin ngayon dito, ano yung kwentong plus C mo? I-comment mo sa ating comment section. Ano yung experience mo ng walang plus C ang iyong sagot sa integration? So, after this, after doing the integral of the variable u, balikan mo ngayon dito. Hindi ka magtatapos dito. Balikan mo ito ngayon dito. Ang ginawa mo, you let u be equal to x squared plus 3. Meaning, itong part na to ay ipapalit ngayon natin sa ating variable u. So it will become x squared plus 3 raised to the third power over 3 plus c. Ito ngayon yung final answer natin. For example, number 1. So, I hope na sa first example natin, natuto kayo kung paano gumamit ng ating u substitution gamit yung ating function. Now, for okay. example, number 2, we are given here the integral of x over the square root of 3x squared minus 5 dx. So, basically, alam na agad natin kung alin yung gagamit natin a function to be represented by letter u. So let u so let u be equal to 3x minus 5. Then right after that, ay sino natin to? Right after that, we will find the derivative of u with respect to x. So it will become du over dx which is equal to, eh, sorry, may squared pala to. May squared to. So, you have 3x squared minus 5. Ang derivative niya ay 6x. And, kailangan natin cross multiply, magiging du is equal to 6x dx. Ngayon, after natin makuha yung du natin, puntahan natin yung mismo function natin. Yung u natin, meron na tayong ipapalit sa u. Tapos, yung du natin, 6x dx, na kung saan, kung mapansin yung function niya, wala natin yung exactong 6x dx, meaning, ay, ang meron lang tayo ay x and dx. So, we need to eliminate 6 by dividing both sides of the equation by 6. So, we can eliminate this, eliminate this, and then, there you have it, you have your du 
over 6 is equal to x dx. So after nito, punta na tayo sa mismo u substitution. For in, in this function, we have the integral of 1 over the square root of u. Yan po, 1 over the square root of u. And then yung ating x dx ay equivalent to times du over 6. So after nyan, ang gagawin naman natin is meron tong 1 over 6 dito. Kasi labas natin yung 1 over 6 because that is a constant. 1 over 6, integral of. Ito naman, gawin natin 1 over u raised to 1 half du. Where in, mapapansin nyo, pwede natin itaas si u raised to 1 half at magiging negative yung kanyang exponent. So it will become 1 over 6, the integral of u raised to negative 1 half. Tandaan na, kapag nag-change tayo ng position ng isang um, expression from denominator to numerator or denominator to numerator, ah sorry, from denominator to numerator and numerator to denominator, magbabago yung sign ng kanyang exponent. So, what happened here is that you have u raised to 1 half, nilagay natin sa numerator or sa taas, it became negative, from positive naging negative. So you have u raised to negative 1 half, and then du. So by power rule, we can use, we can find the integral of this expression or this function. We have 1 over 6 times u raised to 1 half plus 1. Again, plus 1 over, kung anong ginawa mo dito, ay hindi expression mo dito. You have negative 1 half plus 1. Okay? So, we have plus C. And simplifying this, alam naman natin na ang 1 plus negative 1 half or 1 minus 1 half, it is equal to 1 half. So, you have 1 over 6 U raised to 1 half over 1 half plus C. Ang gagawin natin dito, next step natin, is tukunin natin yung reciprocal ng 1 half. It will become, dali natin dito. I hope nakita niya pa ako, sorry. Nasa natin yung camera. Yun. So, eto, kunin natin yung reciprocal ng 1 half. Step by step process tayo, ha. So, you have here, 1 over 6 times 2, yung, yung reciprocal ng 1 half. And then you have u raised to 1 half plus c. Uh, you can simplify 2 over 6 and it will become u raised to 1 half over 3 plus c. So kung mapansin nyo, simplified na siya, balik tayo ngayon sa ating representation. Wherein, we let u be equal to 3x squared minus 5. So we can substitute 3x squared minus 5 to the variable u and it will become 3x squared minus 5 raised to 1 half over 3 plus c. Ito na ngayon yung mismong sagot natin for item number 2. So, if you have any question sa ating discussion, and sorry if in-explain ko siya step by step kasi mas gusto kong nakikita ng mga sudyante yung mismong proseso kung paano nangyayari yung bawat steps na meron tayo. Unlike sa mismo mga, mga books or mga references na kung saan may mga inisikip na steps. So, I hope na na-appreciate niyo yung ating mismo discussion about integration by substitution na tinatawag natin U substitution within this topic. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!